hello guys hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is joseph benson and if today's your first time here make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification icon so that when i have a brand new video like this you will be notified guys please make sure you like this video because if you like this video of course you're telling youtube that this video is very very important and youtube will go ahead and show this video as many people as possible who are really in search of how to construct a helicopter from the comfort of your home and of course you can see that this is actually the Benson B1 ultralight helicopter and in today's video I, I want to give you a quick walk around on the cyclic stick control mechanism how I did the whole thing one good thing about Benson B1 nothing is imported here everything is being done and constructed over here locally and of course I will give you a quick walk around and if you have been watching my previous video before you will notice that I've done a lot of quick walk around on some of the part and in today's video is going to be on the cyclic stick control mechanisms Right now, I'll go near the helicopter now and I'll show you how I did my own cyclic stick control mechanism and how you can also do your own and use it for your advantage. So let's move closer to the Benson B1 Ultralight helicopter and near the fuselage over here and you can see that this is actually our cyclic stick control mechanisms and you can see how I did the whole thing and you can see it over here. This is my cyclic stick control mechanism but nothing is holding it for the center and of course um, this is how my cyclic uh, sticks look like inside the Benson B1 and I constructed these cyclic sticks on my own um, I did everything locally and of course I will also go down below to show you how I did uh, the setting actually so this is the cyclic stick and again this is cyclic stick front this is cyclic front Sorry, I'm using one hand to record this video and one hand to hold the camera. And this is cyclic back. You can see it. And this is cyclic left. And this is cyclic right. So, of course, you can be able to see that we're having a stopper both left and right. Okay. And the front and back stoppers are also on its way. And, of course, um, it's 100% performing as a cyclic uh, supposed to perform. Once again, guys, I'm using camera with one hand and I'm using one hand to record this video so you can see the cyclic in action actually is 100% free and you can see the way how actually I hang this cyclic stick over here so I'm showing you this video so that you can be able to construct your own cyclic sticks personally and of course it's very very important for me to show you and of course this is construction so we have to share our idea and knowledge together and see how we can come up with something good so if you're watching this video and you have a contribution to the Benson B1 ultralight helicopter construction, you're very much free to let me know in the comment section below. Contribution is highly accepted. And of course, I will be grateful if you contribute to the Benson B1 ultralight helicopter construction. And of course, it's very, very important to me. And for sure, I will thank you for that. So this is my cyclic hanger from the front. And of course, I'll go to the front and show you how I hang the whole thing. And of course, you can see that you can see the cyclic hanger you can see how it is so this is my cyclic hanger just the way i show you from the inside this is actually a cyclic hanger this is how i hang my cyclic from the front and you can see this is actually the control mechanism this is the cyclic control from inside and you can see over, over here this is how i did the construction i just have to drill some sorry guys for these cobwebs i have to drill it you know this is one and two so of course if it's a little bit far i can bring it back so that it's a little bit closer and of course um let's bring it to this is full uh, cyclic full travel free okay cyclic full travel free we are right now on cyclic full travel free so this is cyclic front you can see that this is actually cyclic front and this is full travel free again and this is cyclic back all right you can see that this is cyclic back so if you're in we're in cyclic um full travel free and when one get cyclic left and you can see how it is and when you bring it to cyclic right you can see actually how it is this is cyclic left and this is cyclic right so guys this is how i be i was be able to construct the benson b1 cyclic uh, cyclic stick control mechanisms and yeah. all you actually need to do this is cyclic left and right front and back look at it in action left and right front and back and it's quite simple you can see that from the other end over here you can see it, how it's reacting cyclic front left and right front and back you can see this is very very effective and take a look at the other end over there 
so let me just like zoom a little bit so you can see so let's put it again cyclistic front back left and right this is it this is it you can see what is actually happening with the cyclic over there front right back and front so this is actually the video i promise you guys to you guys to create and of course i it's very very important i create this video because some of you do ask me already hey joseph how did you actually uh, create your cyclic sticks in most of the comments i have on the previous video and i decided to create this video to take a time and create this video and show you guys step by step how i actually did my cyclic stick control mechanism there's nothing to hide over here and of course i i'm here to actually show you guys how i did the construction and of course it's also very very possible for you guys to do your own and if you take a closer look you should be able to know that all the construction of the bends in b1 is done locally so there's nothing important here apart from the spherical ball bearing that we're having on the hinges of the control rod so i'm talking about um this kind of bearing over here those are the only important um uh, stuff over here so you can see them over here as well and uh, those are the sorry let me just clear the zoom so this is actually um the bearing that i just in, um installed hinge bearing bearing so this is what i was be able to uh, import so apart from that every other thing here it's of course 100 percent locally and you can see the pipes and everything it's 100 percent locally and also fabricated um in my factory very much locally in the spare space i'm having in my house so guys this is the benson b1 actually uh the cyclic stick, uh, stick control mechanism and i thought to do a short video showing you guys how how the cyclic stick is being uh constructed and you can see it once again uh before i end the video and of course um this is a kind of quick walk around i'm giving you on uh, the benson b1 ultralight helicopter cyclic stick control mechanisms and you can go ahead and create yours and see how you can add a lot of incentive to yours but i'm just giving you an idea on how i did my and it's 100 percent simple and easy for you to construct something similar to this and of course you can put it to test and it works very very fine so the cyclic uh doesn't have a problem um it's quite simple you can go and create your own cyclic at any given time and of course it's 100 percent legit so you can go ahead and do the same thing so guys this is the benson b1 helicopter once again i did this short video to show you my cyclic stick control mechanisms and probably you can go ahead and create your own from the comfort of your home every single time any time any, any time you are ready to create your own ultralight helicopter now this is the benson b1 ultralight helicopter thank you so much for watching this video to the end hopefully i will see you in the next video and please do not forget to like this video because if you like the video of course you're telling youtube that this video is very very important and youtube will go ahead and show this video to as many people as possible and again if you have a comment or contribution on the benson b1 ultralight helicopter construction you're very much free to drop your comment and, and, and contribution in the comment section below i will really appreciate it thank you so much for your time hopefully i will see you in the next video bye bye for now